The Fujicast is an independent loading zone production. Sunday, 5th of April. The Fujicast. And uh, today we are joined, uh, having said that he wouldn't necessarily be around for the weekend, but he he did say he would be sometimes. It's Kev. Hello, Kev. Morning. Can't get rid of the... Nothing else to do today. (laughs) Yeah, can't get rid of the family. Gemma yesterday, you today. Who's next? I'll be tomorrow. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Brian, Brian, Gemma's dad did listen to yesterday's and he's got got a bit of a bone to pick with you. Oh, has he? Yeah, because... Uh, oh, Brian, said, Brian is where you go and you spend your your, your Spanish holes, isn't it? Yeah, Brian, and he used to Brian's be the teacher. And, yeah. uh, and you said, throw in rubbers at kids, that's Victorian. And Brian emailed me <laughs> and he said, you tell your friend that I am not Victorian. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm, I must admit, it did happen in my day. We had a we had an art teacher. I, I probably shouldn't say his name, but it began with N and rhymes with Aubrey. And um, he he was absolutely masterful with a board rubber. I'm sure he could throw it without looking and land it pretty much right in your bonds. Yeah, we had one too. A very, very nice guy, actually. Um, but yeah, he was old school, definitely. Yeah. Bring Very, back those days during the war. Days. During the war, so um, you might hear some bings and usually we turn Facebook off and stuff, so you don't hear bings and bongs. Um, but I've got to use a bit of Facebook today um, for for this episode, so uh, so you're going to hear some bings and bongs. Sorry about that. In case you think your your uh, your messenger is going mad and you think, oh I, oh no, it's not me. It's Kevin Neal. Um, we a couple of weeks ago, I asked. Well, it was last week. I asked you to send in what you were all up to at the weekends. Uh, oh, by the way, welcome to the Fuji Cast Daily, <laughs> the photography <laughs> podcast. And uh, and you, you did deliver, and I thought I'd read out a few, and we can talk about what people are up to, Kev. Does that sound like a plan? Indeed it does. Andrew Higgins. As a grounded pro, now is the time for podcasts and photo books. My Don McCullen collection, signed. Uh, I think I read this one out last week, but I'll, I'll read it again just so, so um, he can boast and you can salivate a bit. Uh, the wonderful John Downing legacy, huge influence on the young me, among many I've got to look through. Also got to finally read David Hearn and Bill Jay's On Being a Photographer. You must have those ones, haven't you? I do have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good books. Yeah. Oh, imagine having a signed Don McCullen. Mm, I haven't got any signed. I've got, I've got most of his stuff, including his autobiography, but none of it's signed. Do you remember we yeah. were t- talking about Salgado the other day, Genesis? Did you? Mm-hmm. Did we go to the Salgado exhibition together? or, or mm-hmm. no? Well, I did go, but I didn't go with you. I went with peter pryor do you remember peter pryor I the do. wedding photographer i do yeah yeah i went with him couldn't get a word in edgeways but i went with him <laughs> don't be rude <laughs> oh i went with giles that's right i went with giles. i went i went with my only other male buddy in the world as people have been emailing about you only got two friends neil that's very sad um and there the did you see the massive genesis book that was like two thousand pounds or something yeah Huge under one. a glass it was in, in a glass kind of oh, dome wasn't it oh Oh, anyway, Asen v- Velich- Veliko- uh, Velikov. Don't be rude. <laughs> that sounded rude, sorry. How do you know when you get it right? A- Asen Vel- Velichov. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I decided to give Capture One a try, so uh, re-editing old image in the past week or so. I have to say that C1 is way better than LR. And not only layers and other features missing in LR, the images just appear much nicer, sharper, and the colours are better. Now, you've been playing with Capture One a bit. I've got, I've got it open right now as we speak. There we go. So, what, yeah. uh, come on, then. How, how's your um, mind changed? Because two weeks ago, you were uh, we were both like, no, just it with Lightroom, much easier. Yeah, I still think that, to be totally honest with you. I think Lightroom is much, much easier. I, I just do not um, I do not get on with the the workflow element of Capture One. However, I have to say that, um, you know, th- it does seem to have more editing features, for sure, and, and things like the uh, adjustment brushes and stuff like that, or the layers, I should say, not adjustment brushes, are seem to be easier to use. But, yes, little things, like on a PC, you can't have full screen kind of light. So you can't, for example, you can't do full screen on Windows at least. I think you can on the Mac. Didn't you work that one out though? Didn't didn't somebody send a nah, no? Somebody finally sent me an email saying no, you're right. It's one of those things that just oh. doesn't seem to work on oh. Windows. Um, things like user collections as well. I've I've been using user collections, and you know I'm used to kind of right clicking on my images in Lightroom and saying edit in Photoshop. And if the if the image is in a user collection in photo in um, Capture One. Mm. It just says, no, you can't. You've got to go back to the, the original import and, and right-click again and do it. And it's like, hang on, this is like, there's just bits of it that I just don't feel are polished enough. And I'm not really seeing any difference in the image quality either. However, what about the, that, What about these vivid colours that people keep talking about? That's better, isn't it? 
than Lightroom? Mm, maybe. I'm, well, most of my stuff's black and white, so I know you see it anything like that. Um, what about but, those vivid black and whites, Kev? Surely they're better <laughs> on Capture One. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's horses for courses, isn't it? You know, I think I think those people that are doing fine detail stuff, you know, especially the guys that are seeing the um, uh, like the worming effect in in um, landscape type stuff for oh, sure, yeah. they're, they're probably seeing better image quality. But yeah. mm, uh, not for me. Not the um, moment. Nick Norris uh, just spent forty or more hours working in uh, plus some for commute. Now that I have that time back, I've been learning learning the ocarina. Is that like the macarena? <clears throat> and started oh, to keep up with my martial arts training in my free t- oh so it must be a martial arts thing is it not editing photos ah uh, i see ocarina i miss my judo is it ocarina yeah you were doing really well with your judo i'll tell you when you turn up next that you you're, you're gonna you're gonna have to start well mind you everyone's gonna have to start all over again aren't they <laughs> yeah. yeah um who else has been doing stuff ross hurley at the weekend dealing with postponements but aside from that been having quality family time with the wife and the kids we walk to the woods every day for our hours exercise we hunt for dinosaurs <laughs> oh. I think you might be a long time looking. Uh, Bartek Wittek, every year in March, I'm photographing my family more than usual, then select a photo a day in March. So uh, we're a week on now in April, but so the whole situation only gave me more time to spend with them. I dusted off the old Polaroid 600 SE and took some pictures with it. I'm also working on updating the websites. Now, this is important stuff, actually, because I'm I'm about to start updating mine. You've been working on yours, because Gemma, Gemma obviously talked about that. What have you done on yours? What's different? Uh, oh, no, nothing of me. I've, I've reorganised the architecture. I've gone back and I've started to remove some old blog posts from like 2010 and stuff and redirect and, you know, clean up a few bits and pieces, re-editing some old weddings that, uh, that I didn't I didn't like the, the finish of them back in 2010. So I've kind of re-edited some of the pictures. Yeah. Uh, stuff like that, really. Nothing nothing of great drama. General cleanup would be good, wouldn't it? Go back to the mm. back catalogue and get rid of a, a, a Load of load of old things. Um, mm. I mean, you know, my my take is now to make my more of a jack of all trades website rather than just purely weddings. I'm not saying that's the right way, obviously, but it's just the way I'm, I looked at the website this morning. I thought, eh, I know how that's going to lay out now. I think I can make that work. Yeah, Kian Barak, I made the decision to stop actively looking for any paid photography work at the moment. In the short term, I'm fully committing to being a stay at home dad and house husband to support my wife, who's a GP. Um, so I, was, I think that's all of us, isn't it? Yeah, I think I don't think Kian's doing anything different to the rest of us. Uh, Steve Vaughan, working on s- selling sales training online, developing video for LinkedIn and soon YouTube. Um, now, uh, do you know, Gemma mentioned yesterday that that you that, that she wished you would do a little bit more of your YouTube thing again now. Is there any opportunity for that no way there's no chance i could do that from here from the house i don't have the equipment i don't have the audio the room the house the kids the dogs the the light no no it just ain't gonna happen what about what about zach arias though he's been at home you can hear everybody in the background yeah maybe but he's definitely got a a different configuration to me because i've seen his videos he's got a nice big table and big kitchen and you know we just don't i just don't no it just wouldn't work here no chance you know no chance i'd have get the dog (laughs) <laughs> peeing on my feet or they're breezy howling for food or they're uh, the kids yapping uh, no I heard no 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 it's the least thing it's the last thing on my mind I have to say YouTube right yeah, now it's okay. it's just not not important to me right now I heard by the way that Git knocked um, the the beer or the water or whatever it was into the uh, the, the the plugs um, just a couple of days ago oh god yeah there was coffee some some friends of ours walked by the window yeah and, and he barked and- Oh, no. Well, they knocked on the window, right. and you know, which is fine. We, that's fine. You, you kind of wave at people through the window as they walk past, and then he went completely berserk, <laughs> jumped up on the table, <laughs> stood on my keyboard, knocked over my coffee all over the plug adapter. Oh God! And then later that evening, as I was recovering from that, something else happened. Breezy shot up, knocked my bottle of beer over. <laughs> that went everywhere. Oh, at least they're both in trouble. I thought you were just going to blame it on Git. I'm just waiting for the hamsters to jump into my cornflakes or something now. The hamsters? I thought they were guinea pigs. You've changed the animal. Oh, guinea pigs. Whatever. Those fluffy things that run around <laughs> in the garden. Furballs. Just a couple more then. Um, who have we got here? Oh, Andy Stonia. Why not? He says, I'm very busy trying to improve my rank on Call of Duty on the Xbox. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Ole Overgaard said, uh, honing my sourdough bread baking skills. And then I participate in a one photograph a day coronavirus photo marathon. Uh, mm. Each evening we get a subject for next day's photo. 
and I'm lucky enough to be working every day from home on my day my, my day job. So yeah, so Ollie's okay. But um, there's a lot of baking going on. I love that story Gemma told yesterday. The fact that she she knew it, it got to a bit of a sticky end when uh, the other day after a bottle of wine she found herself on all fours with her, with her with her head in the fridge sco- scooping out the bread and butter pudding that Albie had made. Or I have to uh, Rosa had made the yeah, bread, yeah. but she's a great little cook. I tell you, <laughs> I made I made um, chickpea curry last night. I got Ooh. all the way to the to the point of putting the chickpeas in and realised didn't have any chickpeas. Oh, okay. So it, it turned out to be um, mushroom and lentil curry. It was nice though. Yeah, we, we've had a bit of that, sort of, you have to make it up on the fly, because the other day we were going to have chicken curry, and uh, when when Sam opened the chicken, it was off. Oh, that's so, not a nice smell, is it? No, it's yeah. a horrible smell. We certainly yeah. weren't going to risk it. So we, but uh, it was talking a re- of Call of Duty, I've been playing a load of chess, actually, you? online. You um, like chess on, I like uh, chess. I use yeah. this um, app called Lee Chess, and it's really interesting, because you play with, uh, it's to- I mean, people have usernames, but it's, it's pretty much anonymous, and you play with people all over the world, and I've been playing with, um, I've been chatting via the comments on one game with this guy in Iran, I've been chatting to somebody stuck in a flat in uh, northern Italy. Um, I've been playing with a couple of people from America. But yeah, it's, it's quite interesting chatting to them. You Do know. you ever meet anybody famous when you're doing those chess things? Is anybody no, you, else? N- yeah, my- you never know who they are, really. Yeah. Um, I know, I do know for a fact that people like Magnus Carlsen, who's the, the current world champion, are on these apps and uh, they do play. But you, you know, you it's all ranked, so people with um, with their kind of um, skill just wouldn't you know would never cross paths with me kind of thing on there but yeah i mean they are and i would imagine now you know when everybody's stuck in their homes there'd be quite a lot of the uh the grandmasters and stuff like that yeah fiddling about with these online uh, games uh, how are you ranking don't be rude <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm all right i'm about uh, i don't know this is very boring but for those those who like chess they have like an elo rating um elo rating. Uh, you have two there's two there's elo and Feed day, fight day, right. feed, fight. Um, so I, I bubble around somewhere between sixteen and eighteen hundreds generally. Right. Um, but it's very easy to to make one mistake and get knocked down quite a chunk. That'd be so much fun though. Have you have you ended up playing one of the world masters? Hey, <laughs> don't think so. I they don't... they are. Uh, you can. It's really interesting because you can watch other people play. Mm. So you can you can kind of say right, I'm just going to sit here and watch them in real time. And they play either what's known as blitz games, which are very quick, over like five minutes sometimes, or they can play real time games. And um, you, if you if you go and watch the the real high end guys, all girls, they um, it's incredible. You you kind of think, oh yeah, I know what he's going to do next, and then you think, my God, what on earth? You know, it's like totally left field, and then makes all the sense at the end. They're they're incredible, those very bl- very, those very clever. Blitz games. There must be the the, the you may have the clock weed bang the clock and then mm-hmm. the other one has to, is that is that the blitz game is that yeah so blitz right. is usually over five minutes you have five minutes on the clock five um minutes. so you move and and the person who either wins in that five minutes wins or the person who doesn't make their move by the time the clock goes loses they also make- have um things like um chase the kings which right. is one of my favorites so you have to erase the kings it's called you've got to get your king to the end of the the board and you can't get in check it's really it's, uh, it's cool it's all good um, we're totally everybody's falling asleep right now i know but it's it's those people who <laughs> like chess will know what i'm talking about <laughs> one from diane robbins um hi kevin neil thank you for the daily podcast i'm loving the bant app between you two and the special guests i'm listening from brisbane australia but originally from sunny guess where Merthy tidville Oh, really? She actually is. It says so here. It's true. She was the one that escaped then. (laughs) They let her out. (laughs) I've followed Kevin on Instagram and YouTube since I started photography two and a half years ago. Love your documentary style. Kev, I own an X100F and an XT30 with a 23 1.4. The XT30 I won in a raffle uh, while participating in a street photography exhibition. That wasn't a bad prize. I loved having mm. my image on display for other people to see. Uh, it wasn't Instagram or Twitter. I'd love to show more of my uh, images at exhibitions or just at home. I have a few prints up in the house, but if I had my way, I'd have a loot more, she says. Once normal life has resumed, I plan on printing more, either as a book or to hang on the wall. I plan on making a book of my isolation photos. Maybe even a standby, Kev. Warning, warning. A zine. Oh, I hate that word. <laughs> yeah, she did put a smiley face after it. <laughs> Do you guys have a designated wall at home where you put images on and rotate? And if so, um, do, you, do you have them printed professionally or do you just do them at the local printing store? I don't think you have a local printing store in, in Malmesbury. Do you? We have a Snappy Snaps close by, but I don't think you have anything 
quite quite so there's a printing machine in boots Is that um, right? okay. but, uh, yeah i don't think it's i don't think they've got it on at the moment no i think that's considered uh, essential Not really medical essential, supplies yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so d- no. do, you, do you have a do you have a wall no well no Probably not really i haven't got any pictures up at the minute it's really it's been like this for a while we've been very slow well i say we very slowly gemma has been redecorating the place yeah um with the intention of you know we did a lot of work in the living room we knocked down we knocked down our hallway and made the living room bigger and everything and we've kind of you know Gemma keeps saying i'm going to come to the office and go through all your pictures and and decide which ones to print and everything and i'm like you know do you do realize there's about three and a half million pictures to go through um so it always seems like a bit of a a laborious job but yeah we will we'll get there at some point um i have that i'd love to do in our kitchen we've got one wall where the light falls on nicely I'd like to have that as a very random um, wall where we basically print what we want, whether we print it from our smartphone or the kids print it off the, the little printer in the bedroom or I print it properly. And we just stick them on with like blue tack and stuff, you know, like very hap, 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 dash, hap, 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 hazard, hap, 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 um, I don't think Gemma's that keen on that, but yeah. we'll soon find out. Um, well, you got pictures up. I've seen them. We have. Uh, well, yeah, they're really old, though. I mean, they're, they're the kids when they were just babies. They keep saying, can you take the baby pictures down? You've even got pictures of your wedding day up. Mm, yeah, we have. Yeah. That's a good thing, though, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Um, right. I think. Well, that, I think that's it for today. I mean, we, it's a slightly sh- a shorter one today because, um, uh, of course, it, it being Sunday... You need to go to digital, uh, um, digi- di- uh, di- digital mass. <laughs> digital mass. <laughs> it's Palm Sunday today as well. I've got to find a, a tree in the garden to wave around my head. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> it's Palm Sunday. So oh, it doesn't uh, matter. Uh, uh, oh, now I get it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <da-dum. laughs> do you get digitally absolved at all? Well, it's interesting because the um, for the I appreciate not many people are that religious, but the Pope did do a um, he wrote a letter to all of the dioceses and said, um, you know, you are. I think they called it a re- there's a, a, te- a technical term for it, and I think it's called a redite, um, and basically it means during during the holy um, triduum, which is the Easter uh, triduum of Easter, the three three parts of Easter, you're you're not obliged to um, to go to mass. Oh. Um, you know, so you're you're let off if you like. <laughs> so at the moment, you're you're absolved because so you don't need, need to go to you don't need to. Go and... You should still go to digital mass if you can. Yeah, yeah, if All you right. can. But appreciate obviously nobody can, not everybody can. So I have, um, but you're fine. you're you're like a saint, Kev. <laughs> saintly kev i don't think Gemma thinks that <laughs> did you listen to the episode yesterday call yourself a <laughs> catholic that's what she says sometimes does she <laughs> oh, God. uh sorry kids if you heard the word anyway um i'll leave that in um so so that sunday then there's a little bit of that and and then are you able to go and do some exercise take git out because git obviously needs to run his legs around a bit we will go for a walk today yeah, yeah. for sure it's a nice day as well um yeah. We typically do about an hour. Um, we got a, a route where we literally see nobody, which is nice. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just kind of think we'll stay in for the rest of the day. <laughs> see what's on the telly. Yeah, yeah. there must be a few more detectors to watch again. Mm, yeah, I found I actually found an episode of Midsummer Murders last night that I hadn't seen before. Oh which was quite good. Yeah, you have to search deep for those. Anyway, have a nice Sunday, Kev. Yeah, you too, mate. Bye. See ya. Bye. The Fuji Cast is an independent loading zone production. Email the show with your questions and words of wisdom to click at fujicast.co.uk email any complaints and political nonsense to our wives who will deal with your comments in their own good time and in their own good way